Hey guys, Kyle the Death Knight of Anime here, bringing you my review for My Hero Academia Chapter 171. This is a very late night review, guys. It's like 4 o'clock in the morning, but I decided to just kind of buck it up and do this review anyway. Um, so, I some, right out of the bat, I gotta somewhat take back what I said last chapter, because while I still think Gentle is <clears throat> hilariously over the top, he actually... He represents a very interesting perspective, which is he represents the little guy, the people who don't get the recognition for, for what they're due because the, the because the, all the public eye is focused on on, on all the bigger bigger and, and bombastic and bombastic people who 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 pretty much who, who pretty much, who pretty much end up end up stealing all, all the spotlight. So <clears throat> yeah, it's funny, but in a way, both both both. both in a way, in a way, gentle. He represents almost a dying breed of hero. In a way, you could say the a dying breed of both hero and villain, like the kind that just aren't aren't able to stand out as much because of, of all the big names, like all like All Might, Stain, uh, the, the League of Villains, like all these people. And uh, but yeah, also, if you think about it, even though. On the surface, this chapter was very lighthearted. Below the surf, below it all, there was a very dark undertone, especially when it was talking about the social media and how people were actually ridiculing Jindal for not being evil enough. Evil enough on like they were saying they were saying, dudes, dude, step up your game and whatnot. And it's like it's and well, well and well and well you could see it as as being as funny in the terms of, of all those people just kind of being internet trolls. Um, it's also kind of scary to see people actually promoting villainous acts like that. In, and in a way, it's like an antithesis to how people respect, who, how people react, how people reacted over the internet every time All Might did something heroic or when Stain made his debut. And it's... It's it's basically when this kind of mob mentality makes itself known that you realize that this is how both both heroes and villains are born. Hell, like like because honestly, the, basically in in the way that a lot of these people were acting, I felt like, yo, what are you guys doing? You're you are just promoting this shit and. You're just promoting this shit, and you could very easily be the next villains. Like, what are you doing? Ugh. It's, it's in a, in a weird, like yeah. Each one of those guys could be a potential villain in the making. And what's even scarier about I think what's even scarier, honestly, about this is that it really the, the we we can actually take a, a lot of reality out of this one because. A lot of reality of this one, especially in today's world, like it's pretty much all about the mob mentality. Like nothing is ever, nothing is, is nothing is is nothing in today's world is is ever about the individual anymore. It's 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 pretty much all all been about who. Uh, it's all been about who's the. Uh, uh, it's all about it's it's all about picking a side pretty much, and yeah, there's just. There's a very interesting but very uh, there's a very interesting but very interesting and very scary and, and very dark tone to this whole chapter if you really look at it. Um, but uh, but nothing is more scarier than 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 what Bakugo did. Like on a, like Bakugo. Okay, like. Like, can I actually say how scared it is that Bakugo is actually starting to sound like the sensible one in all this? And it, like, I, I don't get me wrong. I, I, I've known many times in the past that Bakugo has always been like a, a, an extremely smart student at UA. He's, he's, he's definitely at the top of the class. But it's like he, he's also been known as a hothead. But but we never, but we're, but we're never able to, able to really look past. Ever, I, th I think the problem with Bakugo, honestly, is, is that we're always kind of looking at, at at how much of a hothead he is, but we're never really able to look at at, at at what he's actually saying. And in this case, he just pretty much proved that because 
it was through him, it was through Bako that basically Horikoshi, in typical Horikoshi fashion, Horikoshi just flipped another shonen cliche on its head by, like, he, this time he was targeting the cliche of, of doing what heroes, of doing what the protagonists do in order to make, in order to make other people feel better. He was, he was flipping that on his head by having Bakugo come in and say basically that all the students here at UA, yeah, they aren't here in order to be pitied and, and in order to be, in order to, in order to be at the concert in order, in order to feel better. Like every, every single one of these students is, is pretty much a, is pretty much, is, pretty much, is, 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 is already extremely strong and is already extremely strong willed and, and they don't need to be babied and pitied. They're, in fact, in fact, the only reason that they'll ever really be going to, the only ever be going to Class 1A's concert is really to scope out the competition, which makes sense because at the end, end of the day, everything at UA is a popularity contest, and, and none of it is, is, just for, is just for fun. Like, everything at UA, like starting from the sports festival, is a popularity contest, and nothing... And, and nothing is, is ever done for fun here, and and it's funny because even it's funny because even earlier in the chapter when when, when I, I forget the other the other's name but when I think it was Isaac who was talking to that was talking to one of the teachers, he said, "I wonder." So like hell, even Isaac knew way ahead of time that the way Class One A was approaching this was was just not the right way to do it. It, it was just not the right way to do it because Class One A. Definitely, the way I see definitely the way, the way I see that they were approaching this is that Jiro, J, Jiro especially, J, pretty much Jiro had had been from the last couple in the last in the last chapter J, 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 uh, after being after being discovered of, of having a musical talent, which shouldn't have been too much of a surprise anyway. Um, her her. Her classmates were kind of building her up and saying, "We, we, sh if you're so musical, we, we, sh we just start a concert and, and all that." And it's like, yeah, and, and I think somewhere in her mind, Jiro was treating the cultural festival as, as a bit of a way, of a way to make herself feel better, but as a way to make herself feel better and, and to make and to spread her love and make others feel better about themselves. But uh, so she was treating it more as a self-esteem project than an actual competition. And at UA, you just can't do that. So yeah, it's it was in a way it was really an eye-opening thing for Jiro. And, and in the last chapter, in the last page, sorry, we actually see that that, that it just comes to the realization of this, and that yeah, I, I I definitely can't treat this like it's a like it's a normal thing. I actually have to, I actually have to go in there and and I have to go in there and, and treat this like. I have to go in there and treat this like a, like a competition. So, yeah, like I and and I think and of course through and of course like I I also get the feeling that that because she wasn't treating like this that like this 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 is a cons this is a competition initially. I get the feeling like she, she, I like I think I think she was gonna do her best, but I don't think it was gonna be her best foot forward, so to speak. But but now that she knows what. But now that she, now that she knows it is a competition, she's like, I'm going all in now. So yeah, Jiro is is going all in, and I think class one, class one A is gonna be treating this a little differently too. Um. So, and gentle himself, he plans to and with with pretty much with, 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 with gentle and, and and I think it was and 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 his like lay brava. Plan to invade the cultural festival, and what's honestly really interesting, like honestly, with this was mainly a setup chapter, of course, for a lot of it. And what's really kind of, what's really kind of interesting about this whole arc and whatnot. What's interesting about all this, like with the way, with 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 the just gentle and the cultural festival and whatnot. I'm. With the competitive nature of the festival combined with just how over the top and goofy gentle is, I'm as weird as it sounds, I'm getting a lot of Davy Back arc vi arc from One Piece vibes in the sense where I'm sure it'll ha I'm sure it'll have 
its serious moments sprinkled throughout, but I get the feeling that, as, that, that, that aside from this little, that aside from the little pep talk that, that Bakugo gave, I get the feeling that this arc is going to be more silly than anything else. Like, I, I'm, I'm not, part of me is having a hard time really, really grasping that there's going to be a lot of serious, a lot of sort of serious nature to this arc. Like, it is going to have its serious moments, but overall, I I think this is going to be like, like pretty much, it is going to be the, the, the baby back arc of one of my hero academia almost. So, yeah, it's, but I'm, I'm not going to, I'm not gonna sit. I'm not gonna. But who knows? I could be completely wrong. But it's. I'm just getting those vibes. And but yeah. But yeah, and that's. But that's all I have, guys. If you enjoyed the video, like, comment, subscribe, follow me on Twitter and Facebook. That's not of me. Signing off. Later, guys.